Good morning and welcome to A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine. Today, my special guests are Aaron and Rebecca Abram. They're with the Salvation Army and they're the new Corps officers here in town. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thank for, you having for having us. us. So tell us where you came from. Tell us a little bit about you and then we'll get into the Salvation Army. Sure. Uh, well, we just moved here uh, June 22nd from Owensboro, Kentucky was our last appointment. Uh, so Salvation Army officers move around every three to five years typically. Oh. Uh, so we got a, assigned to Kingsport, Kentucky, a place. Uh, Kingsport, Tennessee. Kingsport, Tennessee, sorry. Hey, that's what uh, I say. A place uh, we've heard about, uh, but we've never actually had the chance to come over here. Uh, so uh, we were excited to come to a new place, but uh, we uh, came over from Owensboro and uh, we're looking forward to finding out all about Kingsport and yeah. how we might fit in. I'll let my wife tell you a little bit about, I guess, us individually and our family. <laughs> but <laughs> um, we are, we've been married 15 years this month, uh, long 15 years, but <laughs> oh. it's been a ride. <laughs> uh, we have Fun. three children. Oh. Um, our oldest is in seventh grade here. Uh, our middle is in third grade here. And then our youngest is moving up to the two-year-old classroom oh, today. Okay. So we have come with our family and in the Salvation Army, we believe that our calling is that from God, but it's also God calling our family. So mm -hmm. they move with us and um, sometimes it's interesting and sometimes it's scary. And yes. We've experienced both of those in this move. Our oldest is a, is shy and mm -hmm. is uncomfortable trying to talk to people mm -hmm. uh, and make friends. So she has experienced her first day of school yesterday, ate lunch by herself. Oh, of course. That's but so she hard. said it was fine. <laughs> um, yes. So mama's heart is a little bit heavy praying that she just finds a good, good friend. I hope so. Yeah. And she will. It just takes a little time. You yeah. know, as shy as she is, everybody mm -hmm. else is kind of feeling the same way. Right. Yeah. You know, they just might not be acting like it right. so much. <laughs> but I know being a military brat, moving around a lot, you did have to learn how to Roll with the punches a little right. bit and adjust. <laughs> and so it is kind of good in that way because she's going to have more experiences than a lot of people yes. do. Exactly. But it is a little harder in some ways, mm -hmm. especially if you are shy. Right. Yes. That is tough. So we'll keep her in our thoughts and yes, prayers. Please. Yes, please. I will. So the Salvation Army, for those that aren't real familiar, now we all know Salvation Army is the red buckets at Christmas <laughs> right. and, and all that sort of thing, but it goes beyond that. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so the, uh, the Salvation Army, uh, our mission is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in His name without discrimination. And that covers a wide array of uh, various avenues of service. So uh, in addition to those red kettles that everyone's familiar with yeah. and our, our thrift stores uh, that are probably the second thing that we're most well known for, uh, we handle a lot of uh, social services needs. So uh, helping people with uh, rent and mortgage assistance, utility assistance, um, after a fire, food assistance, uh, mm -hmm. clothing assistance, things like that. Uh, we have programs for youth. Uh, so every Tuesday uh, in the afternoon, we pick up kids from various schools around town. Uh, we have character building programs for them, which are a lot like uh, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. So they work on merit badges, uh, but they also learn uh, some kind of Christian character values at the same time. Uh, we have programs for men and women. Uh, we are a church. We meet on Sunday mornings uh, for a worship service at 11 o'clock. Uh, people don't know that the Salvation Army is a church. Yeah, uh, I really didn't realize yeah. you guys had services yeah. like that. Yeah, so all of the things that we do uh, to help our fellow man kind of stems from our belief in, in Jesus calling us uh, to be there for our neighbors and for those in need. So. That's and where it comes from. I do deliver a lot of my clothes and stuff mm -hmm. to on Stone Drive. Is that yes. the only drop off there is? Correct. Yes. yes. Okay. We used to uh, accept donations behind our Dale Street location, uh, but thank you for bringing that up because just recently we have stopped accepting donations there, and we need everyone to bring their donations out to the Stone Drive location just to. See, I didn't even know there was one at the yeah. Dale Street, and I live, yeah. you know, downtown. That would have been more convenient. <laughs> right. But that's good to know mm -hmm. that now we just have the Stone Drive, Correct. and you go around to the back. Around to the back, and there. There'll be staff there to help you get everything in. So. From 9.30 to 3.30. Correct. We also have a shelter um, that we house individuals uh, mm -hmm. each each night. We have 15 male beds and 10 female beds. And then when we have white flag, we have an extra room that we open for white flag. And we have two family units as well. What's white flag? Um, when the weather gets cold and... Okay. 
it's too cold to be outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if we have no, no more beds in our shelter, we make room. Yeah. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that was white flag. Okay, mm -hmm. and again, it's free. Correct. Yes. Correct, because Correct. there was a rumor going around for a long time that it was like $7 a night because the homeless downtown would say, I need $7. I ran into that several times yes. myself. No, it is free. It is free. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And then we also have a soup kitchen that we serve 365 days a year, lunch, um, from 12 to 1 at our Dale Street location, and then our guests that are in our sh our shelter get breakfast and dinner each night. Okay, and day. that's all free. All Absolutely. free. Mm -hmm. And so people can go down there at any time. Are you open 24 hours? How's that work? If somebody decides late at night they need they need shelter, do, do they have to check in at a certain time? How does that work exactly? Yeah, so the shelter uh, monitors are on duty beginning at 4.30. So if mm -hmm. someone comes in uh, any time after 4.30, they're able to check into the shelter and they're able to stay overnight until uh, eight in the morning and then they uh, leave the, the facility, uh, go out and do whatever it is that they do during the day and then they can come back each night uh, and check back in. But there's someone there overnight that can check them in at any point. Okay, well see, that's good to know mm -hmm. too. Because I don't know why it is that we keep hearing different things, that <laughs> yeah. they have to be in at a certain time. So any time they can go. Well, there is a curfew if you have already established, but if it's someone new, you know, just deciding tonight, oh. I'd, I'd like to go ahead and check in. Uh, and just the, the curfew thing is to kind of help us maintain that bed count. Because if you don't check in, we may assume that your bed's going to be open and we'll okay. give that to someone else. And what time is curfew? Uh, I believe it's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, these are all good things to know. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that. So, are you guys gearing up for anything, anything going on that you're getting ready for? Well, we're always getting ready for Christmas. Get that out. Yeah. yeah, it feels like the Salvation Army is always getting ready for Christmas. Uh, we just finished our summer camp season, so we uh, had taken several kids to camp uh, each week. And uh, as we get ready for Christmas, the angel tree, the red kettles, uh, we'll start meeting with our board uh, here in, in the next couple of weeks to discuss our plans for that. But we're looking forward to being out there, meeting the community at the red kettles, ringing the bell and saying hello to everyone. Well, let's talk about COVID. Uh -huh. And we know there's a new variant, so we're gonna, it's gearing up. So we're gonna have to, I'm, I think after our interview, I'm gonna start having to do my split screen again with people <laughs> on the other side because it's moving in fast. Right. Does that have any impact on how y'all are running things at the Salvation Army? Yes, our um, shelter guests are wearing masks unless they are asleep. Mm -hmm. So in all common areas, they're wearing masks. We are um, disinfecting and spraying everywhere at our facility. We are still allowing people in to the soup kitchen for lunch, but we are spreading them out so that they're not sitting right by each other um, at the tables. And we're just trying to be as very cautious as possible okay. um, while also allowing people to have their freedoms. The, the government has not mm -hmm. said mandating mask again, so okay. there could be that we So you're yeah. still serving everybody. That Correct. hasn't changed at all. Absolutely, okay. yeah, and we were a little bit worried about that, uh, the Salvation Army as a whole, how the COVID might affect us and our ability to serve, but mm -hmm. uh, I think in every location, I know it's true here in Kingsport, that we were able to stay open, uh, provide all of the normal programs we had. We made some adaptations just to keep everyone safe, but we still doing everything that needs to be done and actually seeing more and more people each and day. So it's been And great. to be clear, nobody has to prove any type of that they don't have money or they can't afford anything. Nope. Anybody can just show up for a nice warm lunch. Absolutely. And, and, and anything like that. That's mm -hmm. what they so can sit with us and eat. We eat yeah, we in the out soup kitchen as well. well. So. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And what is the address again for those? It's 505 Dale, Dale Street. Street. It's the whole block, but yeah, 505 yes. is the main address. Yeah, you'll see us there on the corner, right across yes. from Still Transfer. Right, by Still mm -hmm. Transfer, the moving company, yes. downtown Kingsport. Mm -hmm. Correct. Meant. Right, very good. And you've got the Christmas coming up. Mm -hmm. Anything else coming up before that, or just you're just gearing up for that? And what can people do to help you get ready for that? Uh, we could always use volunteers to help ring the bells. Uh, we also have our Angel Tree program where we help provide Christmas toys and clothes mm -hmm. to the children here in the greater Kingsport area. And if you'd like to volunteer to help with that, we could use that help as well. Uh, we also, if parents are wanting to sign their children up, they can start calling our office beginning September 1st to schedule their appointments for um, applications. For volunteer hours? No, to sign their children up. We have to do oh, it for by, the angel because, tree. because of COVID, oh, we have to do it tree. by appointments, so. Okay. 
or you only have so many appointments. So if somebody wants to sign up for Angel Tree, they have to come have to, to you and make an appointment. Correct. Now, how can people get in contact with you? They can always go by, of mm -hmm. course, but you have a website, Facebook, that sort of yes, thing? Yes, uh, they can call us at 246-6671. We have uh, Facebook, Salvation Army of Kingsport. Uh, SalvationArmyKingsport.org is our website, and all that contact information will be on there as well. Okay. So what is that website again? SalvationArmyKingsport.org. SalvationArmyKingsport.org. Correct. Well, there we go, right there on the screen now. <laughs> and so if they want to reach out to you just by writing a letter, it's P.O. Box 2280, mm -hmm. Kingsport, Tennessee, 37662. The family store is at 1409 East Stone Drive in Kingsport, and the hours are Monday through Saturday, 930 to 5. Is that correct? correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and they can drop off things in, up until 330. Correct. correct. All right, because I heard you say that earlier. <laughs> and y'all are located at 505? 505. Yes. Dale Street. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. And is there anything else you'd like to add, any pearls of wisdom regarding Salvation Army? I think that... One thing that you need to know about my husband and I is that he is a product of the Angel Tree. Oh. And he met the Salvation Army because he received a basketball one Christmas. Oh, really? And mm -hmm. now <laughs> his world has changed because of that basketball because of that, that Christmas. And now your heart is wanting to do yeah. give back and return. And that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to here in Kingsport is giving back to especially children who are just like me who just need someone to pay attention and give them a chance and tell them that there's a bright future ahead. That's a beautiful story and a good one to end on. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank I'm you. Sure we'll be talking more in the future. Thank you. God bless you. And thank you for being a part of A Closer Look. <laughs> we'll be back with more.